I should have built this cabinet a long time ago. All right, so what I did is I dug out everything what doesn't really have a home. So this is all the power tools I got to build a cabinet for. And the location for this guy is going to be right there above the black toolbox. So I got my location. I got what's... Oh, and you know what else I think I'm going to do is... Because the space where the cabinet's going to go is bigger than what I need for all those power tools. I'm also going to incorporate like a spot for all the sandpaper and all that stuff too. So that will probably be at the bottom of the cabinet. But now I know what's going to go in and where it's going to go. I'm going to go up to, to uh, the computer and draw something out on SketchUp. Um, so I got everything all cut out for the cabinets and I'm using three quarter inch import grade plywood. And I just want to say right now, don't ever buy that, this junk, it's complete junk. I hate it, but I got a sheet of it. I got to use it up. It's good for a shop cabinet. Actually, I'm not even going to say it's good for a shop cabinet. I'm just using it because I have it. It's got this, it's just really cheap and it's got this almost like paper backing on one side. Anyways, it's going to work for the cabinet, but it's ugly and I would never buy it again. So the cabinet itself, I got everything all cut out. Now I wanna edge band each edge with a piece of walnut. And that's because everything in this lower portion of the shop has got like these walnut uh, accents going on like in the tool wall and stuff. So I kinda wanna carry that on through the cabinets. So I'm gonna edge band all this with walnut, but the problem is because I gotta cut like a million dados in for this cabinet, I, I really gotta put this edge banding on now before I assemble the cabinet. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, so as you can see I got all the edge banding on and it looks pretty good you know it's nothing like uh, strapping on some really expensive hardwood onto some really garbage plywood but you know other than that it looks all right but yeah anyway so I'm just laying this cabinet out and what I got to figure out is where all the dados are going to go because I'm going to have uh, all kinds of slide it, sliding out like MDF dividers for one the power tools and two the sandpaper but one thing I got to keep note of as you can see this bottom piece these dividers sit on top of the bottom piece here but on the ends, they actually go past the bottom piece. So I just gotta make sure I account for that when I cut out all these dados at the table saw, which I'll go ahead and do now. to get all I don't know 700 dados cut in this cabinet uh, it was pretty painful but it's done and over with now so it's just a matter of assembling the cabinet uh, I'm just gonna tack it all together with a brad nailer and then I'll go back and screw it with the pocket hole screws but to be honest with you I'm gonna get most of my strength for this cabinet out of the back panel so I make my back panel the full three quarters of an inch and that adds a ton of strength to the cabinet
yeah, so this, this garbage plywood's really getting the best of me now. Um, see, what you get into is one side's got like a real birch veneer on it. Uh, the other side, on the other hand, only got like a paper finish with like a grain pattern printed on it. And the two sides don't even match, like they don't even look the same. So you really struggle on where to put the good side, where to put the bad side. And that's what I got into here. I ended up with the two outside panels. I put the bad side in because I was thinking you would see the outside more. Well, as soon as I put some finish on it, the polyurethane finish, it turned like this black color and it just looks hideous. So I have no choice. I'm gonna have to take that panel off and remake it. And I'll put the good side in because on this side anyways, it's butted up into the corner and you won't see it the outside anyways. But this side, on the other hand, you will see this more often. So I'll have to keep the good side out here. But yeah, this one here will have to come off and be remade. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Oh Jesus, this, this cabin's gonna be the death of me. I just realized that I put this top piece on backwards, meaning uh, like the grooves here and here line up, but they don't line up here and here. This needs to be flipped right around, which also means that walnut piece was on the wrong side too, but I did get lucky in the way that that walnut piece did come off without ruining it at all. So I'll be able to take this top piece off, flip it around, and then glue this back on the right way. But holy cheese, what a pain in the hole this cabinet's been. Anyways, I'll go ahead and do that now. You guys want to see something awesome? See all these dividers I just made up? Oh, they even got like little holes in them so you can pull them out and stuff. Yeah. They're too tight. They don't fit. Pretty awesome. So, I actually just got back from the hardware store. This is quarter inch MDF. Uh, I started measuring some different material and quarter inch masonite actually measures about a 30 second less than this quarter inch MDF So I'm hoping that's going to solve my problem, but just just power for the course with this cabinet You know nothing's going to work out right. So anyway, so I'll go cut out a whole new section of the dividers, I guess Well there, this is definitely one of those projects where you think you're gonna bang it out in a few hours and it just, everything goes wrong, it takes forever, but all in all, I do think it turned out pretty good. And if you like it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I'm Ryan Odlow, thanks for watching.